So you go from full blown atheist, yeah, to Satanist, to aesthetic Satanist, to aesthetic Satanist, full on Satanist. Wow. Are you going into it as a means to troll, or I, are you going into it as like, yeah, like I'm down with Satan, like that's the homie? So I'm going into it like, how long was this period, and did you experience anything mm. be beyond the natural realm? Oh yeah, and I have this like horrific overwhelming feeling that there's something on the other side of the door waiting for me to open it at night and i'm like terrified that there's something outside the door bruce lawn you transition out of the military yeah um and then at some point you got like a satanist tattoo yeah yeah i mean and at this point are you believing in god or are you not believing in anything no i i at this point i'm like uh, um i read like a richard dawkins book and i was like well i know everything now and i'm the <laughs> smartest guy in the world you know and so i it's so stupid so i was like on my like this was because remember in these early 2000s you and i when we're adults this is the like Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Mm -hmm. You talk about the, the the new atheists. The new atheists. Yeah. yeah, they're they're killing it right now. And so, and then of course, like I loved uh, Hitchens, uh -huh. funny, charming, smart. What? Why wouldn't I trust this guy? And mm -hmm. so I read Hitchens and stuff. So I was like a very like contrarian guy. Mm -hmm. Then I read a book called um, Dharma Punks and the Zen of. Oh, punk rock or something. Mm -hmm. These two punk rock hardcore kid dudes mm -hmm. that became Zen Buddhists. Mm -hmm. And um, one of them was much more interesting than the other. The other was doing like some weird stuff, but it doesn't matter. Uh, and so I got into that. And then I started to get into like learning about religion. Mm -hmm. And then I got, I did the contrarian thing where I'm angry as, at religion as an institution mm -hmm. of man and what they're up to mm -hmm. and politics mm -hmm. and whatever. And so then I got into uh, Satanism because... That's like what girls are into. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on back up. You know, like goth girls. So, so I had a Satanist acquaintance that I'll tell you about offline because people okay, are going to cool. freak out. Oh, uh, hell a, yeah. a, a, a handful of our core patrons know who this acquaintance is, but I, I'm not going to say it publicly because it's a little yeah, yeah. sketch. When you say Satanism, yeah, yeah, are you talking about atheist trolling religion Satanism? Or are you talking about actual power? in the satanic they're the same aspect. thing they're, they're the, the same they're, they're, they're the same thing. they're no different people so the 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 satanism that's like registered with the government mm -hmm. the like re, quote unquote religion that uses it's like it's church like church for lack of a better term in order to affect politics mm -hmm. like trying to take the ten commandments down <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're like well if you get the ten commandments we get baphomet type yeah. thing yeah, yeah, yeah. those people are trying to be secular uh -huh. and it is like a it's an aesthetic dressing in okay. order to be political and troll uh -huh. but also the types of people who come to them are interested in witchcraft and magic are doing actual satanism and so it would be like if you started a fake christian church and then people started showing up and they were like, well, it's Christian. Let's do Christian stuff, even if it's aesthetic. And then it, before you know it, you're like, what would Christ want us to do on Monday? Mm. You know? And mm. now you're actually doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the thing where like me and my brother call each other bro exclusive. Mm -hmm. I don't say his name. It's very dorky. It's like we're in a Will Ferrell movie mm -hmm. and we did it as a joke. Mm -hmm. It started out, of, bro, what are you doing, bro? Mm -hmm. And then it becomes and then real. It catches on. And it catches on. And now that's how we actually talk. And okay. I think that that's what's going on. So so when you got into it, you mm -hmm. you're saying that you're a eight out of ten atheist. Yeah. Influenced by the new atheist. Mm -hmm. And you're going into it at initially your intent. Are you going into it as a means to troll? Yeah. Or I'm, or are I'm, you going into it as like, yeah, like I'm down with Satan. Like that's the homie. So I'm going into it like uh I'm down to troll. Okay. And also like I'm an alternative guy mm -hmm. and my culture is heavy metal, right? Mm -hmm. And the metal aesthetic, which now we know is Memento Mori and it's actually a Christian aesthetic. But at the time you think like it's an evil aesthetic, Satan or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so it's like a meme to get like 666 or all these things tattooed on you. And then you go, oh, the Church of Satan, that's so funny and edgy mm -hmm. and they're doing politics. And then like the hot girls are like, I'm gonna sign up, whatever. And then you do it too. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, 
oh, but what about the aesthetic of magic? Like, how crazy is magic? And now you're reading occult stuff. Oof. And now you're like, what if I tried it? You mm. know, or like, what if we did it? Or what if I got like symbol tattoo, sigil tattoo? And then it, it like cascades down mm -hmm. into the next thing you know, you're like, I wonder if this works. And mm. now you're reading about it and now you're interested in it. And then you're hearing like Satanist arguments or whatever. If God is so loving, why would he send his son to die instead of him? Which is obvious. They're the same guy. <laughs> but like, you know, the, it, as a Satanist, Satanists are Gnostics, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. they're Gnostic heretics too. Mm -hmm. And so, which is a funny distinction. People mm -hmm. don't think about that, yeah. that Satanists are Gnostic heretics, yeah. but yeah. So how deep did you get into like the, the, the I don't know how else to say it, like the, the, the quote unquote real stuff. Deep, deep enough that like I had the sigil of Satan. I would argue against Christians that Satan is the better guy. Mm. You know, there are arguments people make for why like, oh, but he's giving choice. You don't have free choice. You know, they, they have all their, mm -hmm. their arguments that if you read anything about any religion, you can dismantle pretty easily. Mm -hmm. But um, I got into it and then now I'm getting into magic mm. and, and I'm getting into sigils and like all these other bad things mm. and I'm, you know, practicing and then I've, you know, I have a woman in my life who was encouraging me to do these Jeez. things. And so it was, uh, incredibly negative. Wow. You know, the, the, the ego, right? To follow the ego. That's yep. the North star of Satanism. 100%. And that's the whole thing where magic is perception equals reality, mm. which means you're the center of your reality. Mm -hmm. And as you alter your perception, you are altering reality. But what you don't think about when you think about what magic is saying and what that's saying mm. is that means my reality is the reality mm. and everyone else's reality is less than mm. and how I perceive is real. But what I perceive isn't real. Mm -hmm. That's not what reality does not correspond to my perception mm. that. And so it's an incredibly selfish, egotistical, horrible way to live, but it's dressed up in the, in the dressings of like, well, but you do come first. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-care, you know, uh, no, you shouldn't have to suffer. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have to pay. You should get yours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, at its heart, it's like wildly selfish mm -hmm. and destructive. But that's the spirit of the air, though, right? That, right. That's literally what is being preached right now in the zeitgeist. One hundred percent. When people mm -hmm. are like, uh, you know, people say like X, Y or Z is Satanist in in like public life mm -hmm. or media. And people are like, oh, we're doing the satanic panic again. Yeah. And I agree the satanic panic was silly. Yeah. But we're not panicking. Mm -hmm. We're making a literal observation yep. about yep. the value judgments you're making in media and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they are Satanistic yeah. for sure. They yeah. are. Yeah. And in, in, in your dabbling, how long was this period? And did you experience anything mm. be beyond the natural realm? Oh yeah. So I dabbled for a couple years before I kind of just stepped back and then stepped into deism mm -hmm. and sort of like okay well that's bad but i did have strange experiences mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. i um as a kid i was a very scared kid i thought i saw creatures and ghosts and like i would spend so much time being afraid and i obviously got over that and then i became like a pretty rough adult and i wasn't afraid of much once i started practicing and doing these negative things like I would have so many moments where I'm bringing myself back to being a kid mm. where I wake up to go to the bathroom and I have this like horrific, overwhelming feeling that there's something on the other side of the door waiting for me to open it at night. Mm -hmm. And I would just sit in my bathroom as an adult man mm. with my partner wait in bed like mm -hmm. at 1 a.m. And I'm like terrified that there's something outside the door. And those things continued until I stopped that practice. Oof. Yeah. And it didn't occur to me until much later yeah. how I was experiencing and feeling these things. You wow. know? Yeah, it was crazy. So you go from full-blown 8 out of 10 atheist yeah. to Satanist. To aesthetic Satanist. To aesthetic to Satanist. full-on Satanist. Wow. Yeah. And then back to aesthetic. And then back to aesthetic. Because yeah, you're like, yeah. okay, this stuff's real. I'm not I'm not playing with exactly. it anymore. Exactly. But I'm also like embarrassed. And I'm also like, oh, but don't, I'm not a Christian, everybody. Mm -hmm. I, I'm still like a cool metal dude. And like, yeah. I'm a contrarian. Yeah. And I have the sigil of Lucifer tattooed on my left hand. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. And then you go from that to deist. Yeah. To where I'm sort of like, okay, that that stuff sucks and is kind of embarrassing. Mm -hmm. I sort of like am growing up spiritually and being like, oh, it's kind of goofy to do that. Like, why yeah. do I even want to troll a Christian? Who cares? Yeah. And I, I 
coming to deism from the Big Bang. Okay. Father Lamatra, I think that's his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to him and Einstein mm-hmm. for the Big Bang. They, yeah, which people is, don't know that the Big Bang was coined by yeah, a Catholic priest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so um, the as I began to learn about the Big Bang and the origins of the universe, yeah. because someone eventually will pose the question, something can't come from nothing. That's right. And then you go, well, where would it come from? Well, it can't come from inside space and time, so it exists outside of space and time. Yep. And it has to be intelligent. Mm-hmm. And if it's intelligent, that means it's all powerful. Mm-hmm. And if it's all powerful and we live in a world where there's good, then it must be all good. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you, these these logical things have, but I had that and I was like, okay, well, maybe I'm not Christian, but mm-hmm. I, I literally can't think of another way this universe exists. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to push myself into deism yeah. because it's just logically yeah. makes sense. Yeah, the and- evidence is there. There's more evidence for god than not yes yes, so yes and it's reasonable it's 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 reasonable and it's rational to think something caused this yeah it's incredibly reasonable especially when you stop and you just think about creation in life from the perspective of just a logical like how and why Mm -hmm. and not the like christopher hitchens like well if god exists then apparently your society is going to go to war with a different society like they make these huge leaps Mm -hmm. that kind of make you think well, religion's evil, so God must be evil. Mm-hmm. And like, you know, yeah. a, a, then you become more open minded. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, God is real. Mm-hmm. And like, but who knows what he wants from us? Yeah. The funny thing about that is the the measure by which an atheist uses to judge God is still inherently a Christian measure. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're trying to borrow from God to judge God, not understanding that God is outside of your own paradigm. And you're straw, not only are you strawmating, but you're actually using. Mm-hmm. Christian themed language to judge God, which is yeah, hilarious. It is the new new atheists just get crushed in debate mm-hmm. because they have to. They all have to defend moral relativism, mm-hmm. which we all figured out recently it's is the awful. argument yeah, to yeah, defeat yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and so <laughs> as soon as you bring up moral relativism and they're intellectually honest, yeah, yeah. it's pretty much over for them. Yeah. Maybe not personally because yeah. they're okay with it, but. It, any like random observer who's on the fence about God or not, yep. and then they hear me go, yeah, 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 the Holocaust was bad. Mm. And then they go, well, objectively, no. <laughs> you know, the the rational person goes, I'm going to go with the guy mm-hmm. who said it was bad. Yeah. So yeah. they're doing not great. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good. And so deist to theist to yep. Christian theist to Catholic? Yes. That was yeah, the, that yeah. Was the so I went from deism straight into Christian. Okay. I, I, uh, Christianity makes truth claims Mm -hmm. and they're backed by so much. I'm so interested in history Mm -hmm. that the historicity of Christianity, did I use that word right? Doesn't matter. (laughs) Um, just, just sucked me right into Christianity. The evidence was just overwhelming the like secular evidence even. Mm -hmm. And so, and then I began to, here's what happens. I, I learn about Christianity and the evidence, and I'm kind of like, okay, there's something here. Mm-hmm. So then I'm like, well, let's look at Christian values and, and see what's up with mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. And at this point in my life, I am working for Gas Digital, a uh, co- uh, comedy like podcast network, mm-hmm. and I'm doing a political show where I do punditry. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, I'm a far left, but so, so, so oh, far left that I'm back to guns and, okay. and Jesus <laughs> and all this stuff, like a, a Jackson Hinkle type. That's like, it almost sounds like Russell Brand being so left, yes, anarchist, and then kind of like whoop. You know? you're, li- yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's uh, you're, you'll go all the way over yeah. if you go far enough left, you get your guns back, right, and then right. a lot of weird stuff starts yeah, to happen. I yeah. mean, Stalin was so left that he revived the Orthodox Church, uh-huh, that's right, and the family, yep. and started giving women medals for having kids, and mm-hmm. like you know, mm-hmm. so anyway, that's what, that's what that's what I was raised underneath. By the way, yeah, yeah, it drifted back to pretty godless by the time I was a kid. You know, so but, unfortunate, yeah, because yeah. I think that like. While the, I don't know that I'm pro socialism necessarily, but like the obviously, if the family is intact mm-hmm. and God is there, how you, how your economics work is kind of secondary sure. to everything else. So, yeah. anyway, it's a shame they mess that yeah. up. But, um, so I did the show and I would argue in the show, my co host was a liberal. And so we would argue in favor of, of sex work mm. and in favor of abortion and in Oof. favor of, all sorts of left and liberal things. Yep. Um, and so as I began to argue these things and go to debates and uh, speak to conservatives and stuff, 
Uh, and I moved to New York for the first time. So my whole life has become this thing where I'm sort of like encountering American leftism for the first time. And what's happening is I'm arguing for these things and I'm sort of seeing the holes in the arguments and they're making me feel kind of morally icky. And then I'm like, OK, well, that's interesting. And then I start to meet all these New York liberals and these le online leftists in this community. And of course, this is American centric. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want to make comments about like a labor party in Germany. Sure, They're probably sure, up sure. to different stuff. Yeah. But so I'm I'm starting to see this and then I'm I'm on all these close friends. I'm making friends with all these famous people who are so happy, who are promoting like, and all these alternative lifestyles. But then you get on their close friends and they're miserable, mm -hmm. they're lonely, they're on antidepressants, their relationships are unfulfilling, they're constantly not knowing where they're going to be or what they're going to do or what matters, mm -hmm. they're scared, they have no ability to handle like uh, trials mm -hmm. and tribulations, mm -hmm. uh, deaths in their family are like forever harming them, like they have no tools. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm going, okay. And now I'm looking on my Instagram or my Facebook and I'm looking over at my friends from childhood who are Mormon or LDS and or or, or, or non-denominational Christians and stuff. And they're posting their families mm -hmm. and they're going fishing mm -hmm. and they're talking about fellowship mm -hmm. and they're talking about love and God. And I'm like, oh, but I thought they were the hateful guys. Mm -hmm. they, they don't want people to get married. They're evil. Mm -hmm. And then I'm looking at them and I go, but they're so happy and they're making other people happy. Their communities are thriving. And then I look over at New York and I go, this is the worst place I've ever been. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everyone's miserable and we're acting like we're not. Yeah. And and um, I just started to see the lifestyle thing. And so yeah. then I kind of took a step back like, what am I doing? Yeah. Like polyamory, what am I doing? Wow. It's like casual relationships, yeah. no intimacy, no yeah. fulfillment. Like yeah. what is going to fulfill me? Yeah. And that pushed me towards Christian values. Mm. Then I look at the church's values and I go, oh, these are all practical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like even confession, which is a huge problem I had as I was converting. I was like, why would I ever confess? Because mm -hmm. obviously I had a, a, a Protestant uh, religious education and, you know, a, a main focus of, of Protestantism. And now I learned Catholic Catholicism also is that Christ came to forgive us mm -hmm. and like, he's the guy. Mm -hmm. But so anyway, confession, I was like, Oh, this is bad. And then, and then I think about it practically mm -hmm. and I'm like, the act of confession is so beautiful and mm -hmm. so, so affirming and helping mm -hmm. you go to confession, you release your guilt, you tell a man, mm -hmm your worst fears and things you've done. And he looks right at you and says, I love you. God loves you. Mm -hmm. You're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. He's reminding you that you're forgiven. He sends you out with penance. So you feel like you've done something mm -hmm. to overcome this. It's like practically like you wish your therapist could give you the closure a priest could in confession. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go to the Patreon exclusive section of this conversation. Uh, we're going to get into some pretty crazy biker gang stories, okay, that are not uh, appropriate for YouTube. It may not be within community guidelines, all right? And I'm going to see if I get some exclusive confirmation of what bigger bike gang may have been affiliated. <laughs> if you guys want to hear the early version of this full podcast, go to Patreon right now to hear more about his testimony and get access to a whole segment that won't be available anywhere else. All right, we'll see you over there. Peace.